Now coming to staging of aortic stenosis. Stage 0 where there is no aortic stenosis. Your left ventricle and your aortic valve and the left ventricle is absolutely normal. Here there might be certain factors which will increase your risk for aortic stenosis like hypercalcemia. Now coming to stage 1. Here this is the stage 1. There is mild aortic stenosis. If you look at the echocardiogram, there might be an increased left ventricle mass. The left ventricle mass can be greater than 115 gram per meter squared in male or greater than 95 gram per meter squared in female. There might be slight LV damage and your ejection fraction is less than 50 percent. This is stage 1. Coming to stage 2, here there is quite severe stenosis. Your LV is damaged and LA is enlarged. Some amount of blood which is in LV goes into LA. So, moderate to severe mitral regurgitation can happen. The LA volume is greater than 34 ml per meter square and as the LA enlarges, patient might have atrial fibrillation. This is stage 2. Coming to stage 3, here the back pressure from the LA is reflected on the pulmonary circulation. So, your right ventricle is also affected little bit. Here, there is pulmonary vascular damage and tricuspid regurgitation can happen. Your pulmonary artery pressure is greater than 60 millimeter of mercury and there is moderate to severe TR. This is stage 3. In stage 4, you have right ventricle which is also damaged. So, you have right ventricle which is damaged, your left ventricle is damaged. There is going to be biventricular dysfunction in stage 4. Now, coming to a different staging variety. Stage A, as I said, it is at risk of aortic stenosis, where the risk factor for aortic stenosis, you can take like hypercalcemia or some other condition which can increase the calcium across the aortic valve. Stage B is progressive aortic stenosis, which includes mild moderate aortic stenosis or a pseudo AAS where unrelated LV dysfunction exists. Stage C is severe AAS, but patient is asymptomatic. In C1, it is normal LV function. In C2, the LV dysfunction is there. It is less than 50 percent. That is C2. Coming to stage D, here the patient is symptomatic severe stenosis, but it is subdivided into three divisions. D1 is there is normal flow, but I gradient severe aortic stenosis. D2, there is low flow, low gradient, severe AS with ejection fraction less than 50 percent. There is low ejection fraction. In D3, it is low flow, low gradient, severe AS, but the LV function is normal. These are the 